Hey guys, Adam Fenny here with Fenny Equipment. You're tuned into the Talking Shed. Hey, today we're back here in the classroom and uh, want to bring up some topics that uh, I've been hearing a lot on the phone. I can tell everyone's been going to their Bex PFR meetings because my phone's ringing off the hook talking about these Yetter Poly Spike Closing Wheels and what in the world it is that makes them different. I believe the secret behind these Poly Spike Closing Wheels is how short this, this spike is. What that short spike allows us to do, and I've said it a million times, is it allows us to bring this spike closer. The gap that we want down here at the bottom between your two spikes is an inch to an inch and a quarter. In the past, our long spikes, we've had to space out two and three quarters of an inch and maybe even further. What happens then is, and the reason why we had to space them out is because the spikes were long and if we got them too close, they would flip every seed out of the trench that we just short did. spikes can walk right on top of each side of that furrow. And go ahead and zoom in and, and show the drawings here. If you look here, this is the poly spike closing wheels. I've got the seed here in the center and these little notches are the closing wheels walking on each side of that furrow. And it's because we're spaced in here at an inch and a quarter gap, the, the closing wheels are much closer and whenever they run down the row, they are just walking on this edge and it crumbles those sidewalls right in with very little down pressure. You've got your, your notches on your closing wheel arm you want to be in that first notch and no more. And the reason is, if you start putting down too much down pressure, you're going to hinder that seed from coming back up through that, especially in wet conditions. If you look over here, if you can see, this is mimicking a long spike with a rubber closing wheel, which was a very common combination two and three years ago. For one, we're spaced out here at two and three quarters of an inch with a longer spike and one rubber you would find a lot of times that not only would this turn your tailpiece quite a bit at an angle, but it would also uh, cause it to, to kind of be lopsided. So our spike would enter into the ground way out here and it would have to penetrate fully to do anything. Not only that, but you would wear out those spikes quite a bit quicker because of that full penetration. And then on this side, because this was such an aggressive wheel, we said, well, you can probably get by with just running a rubber on the other side. Well, let's face it, that rubber closing wheel really didn't do anything for us. And we would find that in your closing wheel notches, we had to dig down here into the second and third one to get this wheel to penetrate as deep as we wanted it to, to get that seed closed. So over here, going back to the poly spikes, we're in the first notch, so we've got a closer spacing at the inch and a quarter, less down pressure on our tailpiece, which equals better emergence. So if we, want, if we want to run the return on investment on these Yetter Poly Spike closing wheels, let's say we outfit your 12 row planner with just the rings. <laughs> Today, Fenny Equipment is selling the Poly Spike rings for $115 a row. $115 times 12 is a total investment of thirteen hundred and eighty dollars for your for your planner now let's talk uh let's talk corn um bex is showing somewhere around that three to four bushel advantage in, in soil in corn so let's call it three and a half so let's figure out how many uh bushels it takes to pay off the poly spike closing wheel. so your investment of thirteen hundred and eighty dollars um let's divide that by 360 corn, that's a total of 383 bushels required of an advantage to pay back these poly spike closing wheels. 383 bushels divided by a three and a half bushel advantage, that comes out to 109 acres for a payoff. That's to break even, but we wanna make money. We're here to make money for you farmers. So we gotta double that. 218 acres on a 12 row planter 
to double your money on the other poly spike closing wheels. I would imagine most of my growers that have a 12 row planter are gonna cover 218 acres and the return on investment on these Yetter Poly Spike closing wheels is that simple. Bex have seen it, we've seen it in soybeans. If you're making any changes on your soybean planter this spring, I suggest looking at the Yetter Poly Spike closing wheels. So that's what we're doing today, fending equipment in the classroom. Thanks for tuning in.